Hi, my name's David Hunter and I'm the Head of Mathematics here at St. Mark's. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and I would like to just introduce our four senior school subjects that we have for years 11 and 12. So our first combination is a group of two subjects, Mathematics Specialist and Mathematics Methods. Students who wish to take Mathematics Specialist must take it in tandem with Mathematics Methods and we recommend this uh, combination of subjects for those students who have a love and passion for mathematics first and foremost. You'll find that um, it will be time saving and something that you'll get uh, more enjoyment from rather than taking something that you perhaps won't have the same interest or passion for. It's certainly a prerequisite for subjects at university like engineering, medicine, etc. And um, it's also uh, a combination of subjects that's fantastic if you want entry into uh, professions such as data analytics or actuary or similar sort of things. Or even if you just wish to study pure mathematics, that will open doors for a wide range of careers in the future. Then our next subject that we offer uh, is Mathematics Methods. Now this can be taken as a standalone um, and it's just really ideal for any of those students who have an interest in studying a course at university that may involve calculus. Um, most subjects uh, in some way, shape or form, if they're looking at rates of change, uh, will involve some aspect of calculus. So while it not, might not necessarily be the prerequisite described universities, it's a great one to take if you are interested in stu studying subjects like the physical sciences, uh, physics, chemistry, geology, surveying, any of those sorts of subjects um, and, and moving into those sorts of uh, areas as well. So anything involving that uh, rates of change, mathematics methods is, uh, is it the one we recommend. The third one that we offer in year 11 is Mathematics Applications, which is a general well-rounded course, waste course, that will give you um, access to most university subjects uh, that are on offer. So it provides a, a background into um, most of the, the topics that would be covered in year 10, um, but focusing on some extra things like matrices, like network analysis, lots of work in finance, and uh, which shape um, you know, sort of um, a great background for careers in economics or in logistics or something like that. And typically courses at university such as the biological sciences, the humanities, uh, such as counting or even psychology would be using the mathematics involved uh, in mathematical applications. So we do recommend that as a subject to be considered uh, should your future career be heading that way. Our last one, but by no means our least, is Mathematics Essentials. And this is a non-waste subject, so it's one of our general offerings. And it's really designed for students who have an interest in following a TAFE pathway, or they might be interested in moving into an apprenticeship or a trade at some time in the future. So a lot of it is to do with two aspects called the mathematical thinking process and the statistical investigation process. And it's all about solving practical problems around the mathematics which you've generally seen in years 9 and 10. So there's our four courses. Entry into those courses, well pretty much if you wish to be part of the specialist uh, subject, we don't recommend that for students studying year 10 mainstream. And if you're studying um, year 10 extension course, we'd be wanting you to get at least 70% in your course for us to feel confident that you'll be successful at that one. The methods course, uh, we require a student getting 90% or more, which is very high, uh, for you to be successful at the methods course. It's still a very demanding course, or 70% if you're doing the extension course. For applications, we're looking at a mark of 60% in the mainstream course, uh, or 50% in the extension course. So if you're making that mark, you'd be more than welcome to uh, take up our applications course. And if you are achieving less than 60%, we'd be recommending that you look at Mathematics Essentials um, or if you haven't passed your older numeracy or achieved the required Year 9 um, NAPLAN level, you would be uh, encouraged to be doing Mathematics Essentials. So that's basically the, the information that you'll need for making a decision and we look forward to seeing uh, your choice in Year 11. Thank you very much.